Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm going to show you the most simple way to make chicken bone broth in your crock pot. Put in a liner so you don't have to worry about cleaning it up or at least spray it for easier cleanup. I have the carcass of a chicken and anytime you have leftover chicken bones just put them in your freezer. Then when you get enough get them all out and dump them in your crock pot. Then I'm going to add a bit of old lemon because I can use it up in bone broth. I have a handful of celery leaves and tops. I'm going to put those in. I have some uh, dried rosemary. I have a half of an onion. I have a few cloves of garlic. You don't even need to crush them or chop them because the bone broth will help dissolve them. Then I have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper and a tablespoon and a half of salt. You put that all in together, fill it up with uh, filtered water and turn it on low for a few days. And you'll have delicious, nutritious chicken bone broth. Remember, you need to either add lemon or vinegar to help dissolve the bones in your bone broth. This has been going for two days. Let's see how it looks. You can see the bones are dissolved, which means our bone broth is complete. So now we need to turn off the crock pot, strain it, and it's ready to eat. The bones, the vegetables, everything is given it the complete essence to the nutrition in the bone broth. This is why I like to use a crock pot liner. Look at that. Virtually no cleanup. Super nutrition, no cleanup. Try making bone broth. You won't be sorry. It's delicious. You can use it as a hot beverage. You can use it as broth in your uh, recipes. You can use it to saute vegetables. There's all kinds of things you can do with your nutritious bone broth, knowing that all of the minerals have given all of their essence to help uh, fortify and keep you healthy. Please visit alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.